Hi, I'm Sharon Bechtold. Here's a fun little project that's available in its entirety on my membership site. This will give you a good idea of how to burn on paper. Enjoy! Now because of the nature of paper, you will find that your pen is going to get dirtier when you're burning on paper than it does when you're burning on wood in general. So you're going to want to make sure you're cleaning your pen, otherwise you'll get, I don't know if you're noticing that my lines are inconsistent. Just adding a little bit of texture here. It's a nice thing about wood burning, you can use your pen in different ways to get different effects. Just kind of dragging the side. It gives it kind of a fuzzy look. They are a little bit fuzzy. So I want to make this hot enough that I could just drag it across and just totally char the paper in here. Of course, I don't want to burn all the way through, but I want to give a nice dark burn. And all I'm doing is skating back and forth. Now, you don't have to worry as much about sinking into paper like you do in wood because you don't have any grain, but you still want to watch out because every once in a while, I'm gonna go ahead and radiate some lines from the center here. You can use a shader. I prefer to use this. It has a little bit more texture. I enjoy using texture. I land here next to the body and pull out. This will allow me to naturally go from dark to light, dark to light. As my speed increases, it gets lighter. And so it automatically will look darker right here at the base. Also going and dragging in here, make sure it's nice and dark. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. So here we go. With watercolor pencils, you want to be careful not to apply too much color because what will end up happening is that they, uh, um, they'll get too, too heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of orange. And I'm being really creative here. I don't know what colors necessarily go in here, and I, I kind of really don't care. I just want to do something that looks pretty. And I'm thinking oranges, yellows, and blues. I know tiger swallowtails have blues, but... Off the top of my head, I, I don't know where. Now with watercolor pencils, I'm going to lightly color because I'm going to blend them in in a little while. I'm going to put yellow right next to it. And I want to put some blue. Put a nice bright blue down here. Down here. I think I'm going to put some blue here. I don't think they have blue out here. I'm pretty sure they don't, but I'm going to do it anyway because I want to, and because it's my butterfly. I'll give a little light in between. What I'm going to do is I'll apply the water, and then I'm going to try and get rid of that big drop at the end, and then I'm also going to tap it here, because I don't want it sopping wet soaked, because that's going to make it really difficult for me. A little bit of that here and see how it blends in. I want to be really careful because sometimes it gets gets really aggressive and sometimes it's just not enough. So this seems to be blending pretty good. I also don't want to add too much water because I'm actually not using watercolor paper. I'm using regular cardstock, and um, they don't. It doesn't always take real well with the, with the colors with water. So you want to make sure that your paper is gonna is gonna accept the water nicely and it's not going to leave you a big mess. And I'm starting down here where there's a little more pigment and just gently pulling it out. Like I said, I'm trying to keep a little bit of the white in there. And all the water is doing is it's smoothing out the pencil marks. Um, I have an X-Acto knife here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully cut out my butterfly. Okay, make sure you're using a self-healing mat underneath. The rest of this you want to be careful. This is why I burned extra thick in here to give myself a little bit more room as I go through and do the cutting. And so I'll cut. As you can see, it's kind of chewing it up. That's just part of what you have to deal with, unfortunately, with the carbon or with the burned paper. I don't do this that often. Now I know why. Just want to clean that off. That paper out of there. All right, I'm going to clean up the edges that got a little bit chewed up here. And I just 
have my shading tip on, I'm just going to go through and just incinerate them a little bit. And that'll clean everything up. Leave it looking nice and clean. As you can see, I'm just tapping it. It doesn't take much. I'll just go all around the edges to make sure it looks nice and clean. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bend it very gently here. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to shape the cardstock to where I want it and give it a little bit of a three dimensional look. So, this is just a nice little project. You can adorn something, maybe a basket or something. You could put this on a, on a greeting card. If you put it on a greeting card, they sell these little foam stickers you could put down here and that'll that'll give it a little bit of stability. Thanks for stopping by and watching this video. I invite you to check out my website at www.sharonbechtold.com. This little video has been an excerpt from the full training to do this project that's available in my membership site. Check out my website to find out more.